I'm going to talk a little bit about these consecrity models, which if you have one near you, you're welcome to play with or pass around. Um, I like to think of the body in terms of a tensegrity. You have tension structure holding it together. Tensegrity models are good for movement. Um, a building is stacked up, a stack of bricks. They don't move very well. They have to add steel struts to make so they can actually bend in the wind. So that's got some tension quality there. But if you're going to be actually getting up and walking around, you can't be just a compression structure. So I like this model. And this model means there's a couple of characteristics that it has. One is that if you have a compression anywhere in the structure, overall, the structure is compressed on average. If you have an expansion anywhere in the structure, overall, the, stru the structure expands. And any restriction does affect the rest of the structure. And if you were to be pushing on this and trying to break it, the area that would break would be the, would be the weakest link. It wouldn't be necessarily the part you're pushing on. It would be whatever, whatever one of these bands it has the weakest tension to it, and, and that's what would break. And often would be the band that might be overstretched by the process of whatever that pushing is. Um, so there is a bouncy quality to a structure like this. If you've ever seen a child or a toddler fall, they bounce. And they have a nice, healthy fossil network. 